range of students as well with us okay good morning uh, dear teachers and uh, students uh, as you all know that this covid 19 uh, has changed the way we used to think uh, before beginning of this particular year, year 2020 in the when you are celebrating the 1st january it means the happy new year you are celebrating for yourself and with your family and friends how many of you have thought that uh, you will not visit the shopping malls uh, for almost 3 uh, months or you will not go to the playgrounds for months or you will not be going to the restaurants for lunch and dinner or you will not go even to your school for 3 uh, months but that is happening so this covid 19 uh, which is also known as corona has changed the way we live and it will change in future also even when it will be this uh, pandemic will be over it will continue to it will impact our life in a big way and we will continue to uh, we have in the same manner we are going to do the uh, more of online things and we will be doing more of the things from work from home because there are many industry now who who has realized that work from home is a better for their uh, productivity because there are many times there are some girls and some uh, some female employees who used to leave the job and the, some male also used to leave the job due to the uh, home house problems now uh, this particular pandemic has changed the way economy was functioning so in today's environment it is very much important for the students to learn what preference of the courses they should study after school and how to make uh, to survive in this world where the new rules have been made thanks to covid 19 uh, so there are a lot of courses which you can do it so i will i will just like to ask uh, say to all of the students and that you all can post your questions in the chat box and i shall be taking in between and answer answer them because i don't want to make it a monologue uh, rather it should be dialogue based so you can uh, just uh, post your questions and i will be able to un- answer them and uh, any time anyone has a doubt again he can post it not an issue and i will take the relative question also based on that now so today's discussion will most probably will cover uh, available streams and career options for uh, all the three streams then competition in higher studies uh, placement opportunities after graduation future trading uh, products and services industry required skills and knowledge need for digitalization and which course to pursue and why now which course to pursue and why i will take first the reason is when you taking a course you must see that whether you are in having interest or skill set in that or not because if you do not have if you do not have interest in that then it become difficult to even get success in that so that is why it is necessary that you should always have a course where you have the uh, interest of yourself and you can put maximum efforts on that if you are not doing it then what happens after some time you get uh, disheartened by that and leave it how many of you know the present hot topic of the sushant uh, society i hope everybody among us knows today but you should all know you all should know that uh, he was passionate about the uh, acting but he had joined the btech in the dsc delhi college of engineering at that time now it is known as dtu and but he was not uh, too sure about um, these things so what has happened that he has today shifted he has shifted towards the acting after in the fourth year in the in in the fourth year of itself and from there that particular person uh, now you see that what has happened ultimately uh, so that is a sad part of the story i will be uh, i will be dis- uh, discussing something on that because he was having a lot of things to rely on and he was having a lot of good things uh, with him uh, and i don't think uh, that anything he was having on for which he should commit this uh, uh, crime i will say I, i will not say that he has done something uh, good he, he has committed a crime and he should have not done it because he was having a lot to live with because and again uh, the students who are appearing for 12th this year at 10th 
one thing you should keep in mind that the degree which you are wants to get it that does not decide your future the degree only a way to enter into a new domain that's matters not more than that anything i know many persons who does not have a formal degree but they are today in the success list of the successful people the owner of the lava company mr hari om who is from my college he has done degree in omsp office management and sectoral practice but today he is ceo and cmd of the company there are lot many people who has done some other course but today they are somewhere else so because you know you can get it done so that is why you are doing it and uh, today this in the time of this particular uh, pandemic uh, a lot of problems has come up uh, the most problem is that uh, the students uh, should be ready to learn uh, and uh, this particular uh, uh, pandemic has opened up the new doors for you you can learn uh, not only from india you can learn from abroad by sitting at your home there are lot of apps are available uh, portals are available like udemy coursera edx and there are many more you can go through them and they all are the uh, many of them are the free courses and sometimes the fees is very less and uh, for 1200 rupees to uh, 2000 rupees you can always uh, put your money in and uh, then you can get a good degree for example anyone wants to do a degree in the digital uh, digitalization he will be having a very good opportunity discussing with the uh, learning from the ibm learning from the uh, learning from the pennsylvania etc by sitting at your home you can do it so more than 73 million new users have been added to online learning curriculums uh, these ex exclude the student pursuing regular curriculum in school and colleges and uh, one more thing i would like to tell you that the aicte and ugc is seriously thinking on giving the credit based system uh, giving the credit to the students what uh, from their online education for example you complete a particular short term course and that course will be given that course marks will be given to you a credit will be given to you in your traditional education for example a student of your from yourself is um, among your lot is doing the bcom honors and you you have done some course in finance so a paper in finance can be exempted for you that credit will be given to you and so uh, in today's world uh, you have got a lot of new technology we are uh, we all are sitting our home at our homes and uh, uh, discussing the concept based on the new apps like uh, right now we are in microsoft uh, uh, we, we are on the google meets we have got other than this we have got the microsoft uh, teams zooms etc so there are lot of are there we can do it uh, the people are doing the social gatherings uh, with this but the social behavior is going to change because the virtual etiquettes uh, will be different than the uh, real world this real world and the virtual world is different uh, you may be, uh, you may be very good in virtual how many of you are having facebook how many of you are having facebook yeah i hope uh, around 50 more than 50% are having the uh, fa facebook at least now what the problem is with the facebook or uh, linkedin or the other uh, social media platforms that you are having these uh, a lot of friends and followers you are have, having on that but you do not have person to person connection with them so what happens when some problem related to your emotions comes that cannot be taken care of that is a that thing is going to happen in the education world also when you are in the education sector as a teacher you know your students you know you understand their problems by seeing their faces you can recognize whether this boy or girl is doing good at home or not they are having some problem so you can call that boy or girl and can ask the problem and you can solve that problem similarly many a time the student get affectionate to their uh, teachers a lot and then they can ask their even family problems that what is going to happen 
uh, in uh, my career in teaching around more than 20 years now uh, sometime I, i have got my student who come to me and ask sir shall i go for marriage with the x or y or not because either he is proposing or she is proposing so that kind of effects um, uh, proximity we have with our students but that is only when we are face to face interaction but when we are doing online these things we do not have so that is going to shatter the psychological balance which we draw in the classes so the students will also have the same problem because they will become the more self centered psychologically disbalances in discipline detached workforce may evolve as the outcome of the continuing dependency of the virtual world you are sitting at home you do not know what your boss is doing what your boss is wanting from you and the result is that uh, you will not be able to relate to your boss in that manner to your company that matter for example your father is doing a jo- doing job in a office since last 20 years many of his colleagues will be will be playing a bigger role than uh, his own brothers and sisters so that is that kind of the affection and the good relationship we we, we have with our our close uh, colleagues who are working with us and we share with the with them all our problems with them also and that that increase our emotional uh, uh, dependency on them and we can uh, come out of the, the problem of crisis and that is what happens in real life but in this virtual world this is not going to happen and which will be a problem so for the uh, students uh, emotional Im- imbalances may affect future decision making because you are not meeting the people personally so you do not understand in what manner this person may behave because you know only online for example during this uh, particular uh, lockdown i have interacted with the people across the globe uh i took sessions in us uk denmark france uh, and then brazil and australia and nepal and bangladesh but do i know them personally do i know them physically can i can i con- conclude by seeing them whether they are good or bad what kind of personality they have that i can do it once i am meeting them person to person and face to face so the leadership style has to evolve to boundless uh, our virtual organization because we have to accomplish more ever leading to workforce pressures short term planning and affecting overall business strategies because now if my workers are going to be in uh, this particular uh, world and then i have to see whether they are performing uh, that much well or not uh, so it will be virtual organization now in this virtual organization we need to be that much uh strong now as you all are young students uh, and you will be the future uh, of this country uh, it is not like uh, uh, this we we older people we we have played our la- our, our inning in the, our inning and we cannot uh, start now our batting at any any other level so we are if we are the openers we are the openers if we are the middle order batsman we are the middle order batsman but you people can do anything so that is why you people need to be physically fit that's the first thing because in this era of virtual world a lot of people uh, are now engaged in this uh, mobiles and laptops more than they used to be earlier uh, earlier they used to be only for fun or the communication now they are for the education also they are taking the tuitions their classes etc etc so their screen time has increased and with this covid they cannot go outside also because if they go outside the parents are worried so you are not allowed to go to the parks so physical fitness becomes uh, paramount in this time so you should be physically fit do some exercises at your home some yoga and tomorrow we have got the international yoga day so you all should do yoga and make it a habit of doing yoga every day at least 5 to 3 5 to 10 minutes at least 5 to 10 minutes not more than that if you do not have that much time then mental well being is very much important because once you are in the virtual world you do not connect to people and nowadays you are having only your parents and you at home they are also busy in their jobs so please make calls to your friends talk to them uh, make calls to your uh, teachers 
make calls to your uh, uh, relatives and talk to them what they are doing and why they are doing that is what you need to that and work on and keep yourself busy emotional well being also will be coming out of that then opportunity identification this is very much important during this lockdown you are supposed to get a lot of jobs uh, opportunities you know, and for that you need to get through the skill set there there will be the job scenario is changed in this world that is not the same which we used to have earlier now so with this job opportunities you need to have different skill set then um, get as much as exposure which is available in the world uh, demand for, uh, get ready for the demand future read newspapers every day uh, the, uh, some there are some podcast and how many can anyone tell me uh, to whom they idolize I, any person whom his uh, you students see that they will be your ideal or uh, they will be the leader for you or you want to be like them anyone wants to make okay uh, one student has put it alan musk very good so if you want if you like alan musk do one thing follow him follow him on the facebook follow him on the insta follow him on the twitter follow him on the linkedin now how to follow these people just make account and uh, uh, follow option will come that's follow it and why it is necessary because you as a person is not going to go and meet uh, somebody has uh, said bill gates uh, Uh, one person has said narendra modi and uh, again the uh, pinaksh jain has said mr modi so you should follow these big personalities on the linkedin on the twitter on the facebook why it is necessary because these persons are too busy they cannot come and uh, personally meet you so what happens they give some idea some thinking uh, some one person has said bill, bill gates also so uh tim cook uh, someone says so a lot of these persons you should follow them because they give some idea what they have done it that will motivate you they give some stories related to themselves or to some other world like uh, mr anand mahindra he posts a lot of new uh, theories and new findings in this world whatever he says on his uh, linkedin as well as on the uh, twitter and the facebook he share it so you if you people follow these people you will get idea from that what they do it how they do it so other than that read the newspaper every day you should have there lot of inline libraries or online libraries are there read the books whatever the books you like read any book i am not saying read only books of your course work course you can do it any book that will give you the interaction whatever you feel like whatever the problem you see in this world just go on the internet find out the books and the material and read it and never read the material from one source only never follow the wikipedia never follow the investopedia always follow the standard books and sites because these sites are misguiding they are not giving you the right information so always have the information which is good for you because ultimately you are going to participate in the corporate world where you need to uh, come out with the um, right uh, kind of the information and knowledge so knowledge uh, 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 for your uh, future is very much required and uh, exposure to social culture economic and business trends should be well researched vocabulary for you because if you do not know the vocabulary that will that will not is going to, is not going to help you you cannot claim to be not knowing the subject you may not be master though so you should be knowing that is why i said that go for every book whatever you like uh, for example ragram anybody is interested in ragram rajan so uh, see the book uh, i do what i do somebody wants to read the mahatma gandhi just uh, my experiment with truth are his lessons are his lectures are his uh, letters are his discussion with some uh, press correspondents or you want to have the mr uh, bill gates see his reports you want to see the uh, learn something from uh, prime minister modi you can see how we behave how we work 
how it work over a period of time that you need to learn and then because it is very uh, today you see where the uh, pm modi is but go back 30 40 years where he was so how he work over a period of time how much hard work he put in how many hours he has worked uh, say 20 to 18 hours in a day he used to work similarly um, Uh, the other big businessman mukesh ambani from india in corporate world you can copy that person also a few months back he said that i will make my ril debt free today he is debt free so likewise many things you can learn from this pe- big people and you can follow their uh, philosophies their stories etc etc uh so when you wants to uh, pass this exam and uh, your 12th in today's world you have a lot of uh, opportunities other than the traditional opportunities you people can uh, the science students you all know that you can have the btech br uh, business uh, bachelor of uh, computer application bca uh, then today the integrated programs are available uh, you can do uh, bcom and uh, pg uh, for 5 years you can have llb of 5 years then you have the nursing nutrition bpt you can have which means bachelor of physiotherapy you can have it applied uh, geology you can have it liberal arts english honors hindi uh, etc journalism mass communication you can have it and if you are a commerce students you can do it like uh, bcom bba bs uh, then you can go, go for the uh, bms uh, B, uh, then you can do do the bfia then you can do it in uh, some other university Uh, and in delhi you have got uh, many universities to study you, you are having a, you are having a delhi university you all know then you have got the ip university you have got the jamia milia islamia and you have got the jamia hamdard university you have got the you have got the women's technical university indira gandhi women's technical university you have got the ambe dr ambedkar university so these are the many universities which you have and from these university you can learn you can study uh, for example ip university has already come out with its advertisement for the admissions you can fill the form for that then there are the uh, uh, delhi university will come out with uh, its uh, uh, form in the month uh, june last and uh, july first week then you have got the dr ambedkar university their ad is also out you can go through that for different courses then you have got the uh, this particular uh, um, this uh, indira gandhi women technical university uh, there also you can have the graduation courses and that that you can do it and other than these uh, traditional courses which i talked about in india you have got many other courses many many other courses like uh, the college of vocational studies delhi university has got seven management vocational courses the many vocational programs and uh, amit university has got some programs so so there are many uh, many other the questions based on uh, their choice yeah please ask questions if someone wants to ask yeah hello lex my voice is coming i hope okay ashna suri is asking is it right to do a business while doing graduation from an open school and how to start with one dear ashna uh, actually if you want to uh, do the business in future also then it may be good but otherwise you must do a regular course because i never i am never of the uh, say opinion that a student should go for open school until unless he or she does not have actually some problem or doing some more important work to do that because by going to the college it is not about the studies 
when you're going to the college you learn interpersonal skills and that is very much important for your future you make your friends and that friends will be there for life and by which you can learn a lot of things from that those particular uh, persons so that is what is required i will always suggest that go for studies for regular course even sometime the students ask me a question sir shall i go for a correspondence or a open school and doing side by side the ca cs or icwa cwa now because when i done it it was icwa so i still call it icwa many times only so you you should be always going for a regular course that is very much required if you know you are not doing the regular course you are missing a lot in your life so you are going you have to go for the regular courses because even for you do you want to do the cscs within 3 years you are not going to get older and then after doing the bcom or bba uh, when you go for the ca uh, or cs or icw your uh, primary course or intermediate which is called the foundation course is already exempted so once that is exempted you are, you need not to that will save your time and you will be more understanding to deal with it because these courses demands a lot of hard work and sincerity and sometimes what happens that in one or two attempt you get failed you get disheartened and then you again come back to the uh, this traditional courses uh then uh, one uh, student uh, has asked uh, devyani in of 9c she asked uh, uh, summer internship yes summer internship a very good option and all of you should have done it and uh, even some students wants uh, to do uh, even after even in 11th or 10th you should be doing the summer internship if you want, in this time also somebody is giving you online please do it that is going to help you then uh, then uh, uh, what all can be done with economics maths see if you are going for economics honors in delhi university you need to have maths and with economics honors you can do uh, economic service you can work with many companies a research analyst economics analyst policy analyst and you can work with uh, uh, the big organization like imf world bank you can work with many companies many financial institutions banks etc you can go for uh, so that's a, that is going to be very good option for you uh, this was the question from nidhi jain then mosam sharma Uh, he uh, is asking, should I consider biomedical engineering or medicine over business econo economics in terms of programs in available in India and in terms of employment too? Uh, Mosam, in today's world, the job opportunities are available to everyone. It is up to you what you actually want to achieve over a period of time. If you wants to achieve uh, the things, uh, if you you are getting enjoyment. in and uh, you wants to be more fascinated about uh, this uh, biomedical engineering it's good go for that and if you are more interested in business and economics go for business and economics you should not have I, there is no question of either or either or is not there you should be doing whichever you like and both and anything in this world today has got a job opportunities uh 20 years back who who thought that uh, somebody a barber will be earning a huge amount of money many of you might have heard of the javed habib one chef sanjeev kumar he is uh, also having a lot of money so everybody can earn the money can get the you can get the job provided you have the skill set and provided you have interest in that if you do not have interest if you do not want to do it then you, you cannot get successful okay so mausam i hope you got your answer uh, finish jain uh, can we do fashion design in diploma and in parallel do course regular course from delhi university uh, pin case uh, technically it is not a problem if you are doing a fashion designing diploma from some inst institute in part time but uh, a regular course from delhi university will always uh, demand more work and which will be difficult to cope up so i will suggest that uh, do it a regular course in delhi university and by the side you all uh, you all should develop your uh, soft skills that's very much important in today's world the second you must have a technical uh, technological 
skill set of yours also need to be ma- managed by you because in today's world what is happening that a few people are not having good technical background like you do not know how to deal with the uh, with the many things uh, like uh, you do not know how to uh, data analytics etc if you do people do not know then it is going to be a bigger problem for you so i will suggest that you all should uh, deal with this uh, data analytics i am discussing with you uh, before i am taking the question of uh, uh, mausam sharma again i am just discussing uh, few points see what what earlier in previous decade was uh, hot topics for study and uh, there was a more requirement for the job opportunities uh, like ma- manual dexterity endurance and precision this is these skill sets are declining memory verbal auditory and uh, spatial abilities is declining now management of financial and material resources is declining now technological installations and maintenance is declining because it is having now robotics now all in- involved here reading writing maths and active listening is now declining management of personnel is de- declining because if you are going online not that much requirement will be there quality control and safety awareness that is also going declining now demands coordination and the time management is de- uh, is not that much important now because you will be like to work and you will have to work according to the corporate uh, jobs technology use and monitoring and controlling that is also going down now what is growing for which you need to get a uh, for which you need to get a uh, new skill set first analytical thinking and innovation that is the thing which you need to do it active learning and learning strategies you should have and this is especially work for teachers and trainers now with creativity creativity originality and the initiative should be there as a leader you should be you should be ready to create create the things original hona chahiye you and you should be initiative also because until unless you are not taking initiative you are not going to get uh, grow technological design and programming should be there you must be critical thinking and analysis should be able to done by you complex problem solving should be there leadership and social influence should be there uh, because if you are not able to influence the people then you are not a leader what is the difference between the rahul gandhi and the uh, pm narendra modi the difference is that narendra modi can influence and can lead the people uh, say um, in lakh crores by just uh, saying that you should do this and that during this pandemic <coughs> many of us has uh, lead the deepak jalai humne uh, thali bajayi ghanti bajayi why our pm pm has said that but do you think the same appeal would have been made by <coughs> rahul gandhi then you would have done it no because he does not have that mass appeal so mass appeal is required for a leader many time we may agree with the many sadhus and sants uh, like asaram babu ji and others we may agree we may not agree but we must agree on one point then all these are influential leaders who can influence crores of people today a lot of people are followers asaram bappu ji is uh, behind the bars whether he is for good reasons or bad reasons that is a matter but you will find the followers of him are going in front of the that jail jodhpur jail and doing sastrang pranam indicating to him that is what the followership and leadership social influence many people has in uh, pande uh, this uh, pande jawala lero or mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi started the dandi yatra just alone individually and the people has come and join and then a, a big rally has come up and that's uh, the way it has become the dandi march or we call it namak satyagraha today so emotional intelligence is very much required today reasoning problem solving and uh, uh, is also very much important system analysis and you should be doing more of the data analytics courses uh, you should be doing data mining you should be and then neuro uh, data neural networks artificial intelligence these are the courses which will having the future demand for you so these traditional courses which we discussed earlier will not be having that much <coughs> sorry 
that will not be having a uh, demand uh, then uh, mausam sharma again has asked the question should i consider biomedical engineering or medicine over business and economics uh, again uh, dear it depends on your uh, interest if you have interest in that you should do it otherwise not uh, fashion designing diploma and parallel to do regular courses i already said that uh, what is the scope of biomedical engineering in india are there courses recognized worldwide yes the courses are recognized worldwide it has a uh, biomedical engineering has got its uh, demand it is a upcoming field but again you have to work hard for this purpose bilal uh, is asking sir will it be viable to do ca after graduation yes i will always say there is no opportunity cost my dear in graduation you learn a lot of things and uh, uh, because if uh, as a correspondence student or a open school student if you start uh become also and uh, ca also after some time what happens that uh, you are not able to uh, do justice with ca so after the 3 years or 4 years you land up without ca and your graduation is 12th in open medium uh, graduation is op open course with the open course so then what happens you do not get a good job opportunities because there are a lot of multinational companies who says that your student should be a regular student and that is why i will always suggest go for a regular course shubhangi is asking the sir what do i do after 12th i want to become ca yeah you should do 12th uh, commerce and then do become honors from delhi university and uh, then you can join the ca after the after completing the become what is summer internship bachche during or summer vacations when you work with some company on a particular assignment that can be paid or unpaid both and so you learn what is actually happening into the companies and so real job uh, scenarios you learn that is one way on the job training so you learn what should be the interpersonal skills how to communicate with others that thing then some may asking what all can we do with psychological yeah, a lot of things today you can do it because today the person are too much busy so they have got a lot of psychological problem so you can treat them you can have your own um, consultancy you can have do it from your home also you can have some uh, even you can be child psychologist uh, after some time because there are a lot of schools uh, and a lot many people are working husband husband and wife both so many time they are not able to talk to their kids so kids has got some psychological problem even the students are a lot of on the game some of your mobile games and tv etc so they are having psychological problem you can treat them then in the corporate world you can do the you you can deal with the employees you can take the motivational classes of them also then there are a lot of lot many people in industry who are in the uh, call centers and in the kpo world who are having the psychological problem you can deal with them and you can have the industrial psychological consult consultant also so a lot more uh, so many there are a lot of lot more uh, opportunities are available damini vaksi best course of pursue of a commerce with maths in 10 plus 2 say if you wants to uh, do it uh, you want to go for ca it is become honors if you want to go for mbas or management it is uh, bms or bba you can do it uh, and then if you wants to have uh, analysis finance market the best course is uh, uh, the bachelor of business economics offered by delhi university and then the similar courses are by jamia millia islamia jami hamdard business economics course they they run with some other name uh, yeah. what are the options uh, commerce without maths see if you are going commerce without maths your options get limited it is is just something like you are doing ba so you will be going for bba program you can do it from ib university you can do some bcom bcom program from delhi so uh, delhi university like you can do you can go to the jamia also so there with these will be the courses but um, you can take uh, at least applied commerce because this year onwards delhi university has uh, included the applied mathematics also in the uh, part uh, uh, subjects which are applicable for uh, bcom honors um, essential subjects now the jessica gandhi is asking what is the procedure for getting a job in us united nation what is skill a person see united nations uh, dear uh, come out with a lot of uh, lot many uh, programs and vacancies 
each has got different uh, qualifications and experience but you must have your degrees from good universities good background why saying good background does not means good family background it is honesty and hard work how you pursue the things that should be this you should keep in mind uh, i i know many person who working with the imf and world bank and esco who belongs to a very humble background so when i say background it means your background what you do it how you studied uh, what project you have done it over a period of time how how you meet the people what is your view of the things and what are your qualifications that is what then vanshika uh, vanshika i hope i have already dealt with psychology course uh, jessica gandhi for that post but uh, jessica there are a lot of different posts like analysis post are there observers post are there so you do it your uh, pg in that particular field first and then you can ask for these particular courses uh, post and uh, you can do one thing you can go on the website of the united nations uh, unesco who and then you can find out uh, uh, the details of uh, the job opportunities so which are available and you can work on that uh, and specifically these are not the permanent posts these are the contractual posts given to you for 3 years or 5 years then these are renewed over a period of time so you can do it based on that riya said which of the both uh, journalism and designing designing i i am taking it it is a fashion designing see journalism and uh, fashion designing both have more course but in fashion designing you are working behind the curtains but in journalism sometime you are in front so it is more lucrative but the money part remuneration part is more in the fashion designing as compared to journalism in journalism many people i know in uh, avp news astak and ndtv etc are working just 25000 rupees per month and you see them on the tv don't worry so if you if you want to show your face on the tv or in the public media it is good journalism but if you want to earn the money have good skill set go for fashion designing good good paying uh, initially you will have to struggle for 3 to 4 years at least but after that you will have, have a very good good money if you have got the skill set because ultimately you need to work with the film industry and others and there you will have a lot of job opportunities for that mosham sharma again uh, what admission process do you beta comes out with uh, uh, comes out with comes out with the uh, entrance uh, this uh, particular uh, form merit based there are two types of admission one is uh, merit based and another is uh, non merit based my means entrance based so bcom etc are the merit based you, if you have the requisite number of uh, requisite number of um, cut off because all the colleges has got different cut off based on the categories uh, like uh, journal sc st obc you are etc so if you have those uh, marks you will be you will have to go for in the, that cut off and get your admission in the school and uh, similarly and, and sim- similarly in other um, uh, courses like bbe bms bfia etc you need to go for the entrance exam so uh, the, that also the advertisement will come in the july first week you can fill that form and then you can go it and this uh, ib etc ib board doesn't matter anything um, this is also permitted uh, already the admission brochure of the delhi university out you can check it um, all the boards which are uh, uh, which are recognized are given there if it belongs to either of the board you can just apply it's not an issue on that vanshika sharma uh, what can we do with economics honors uh, economics honors after 12th economics honors basically uh, you do it in graduation uh, after 12th and if you do economics honors it will open up a flood gate for you for the analysis job in many banking and financial services rbi grade 1 grade 2 exams you can apply you can go for indian economic service you can go for upsc and even today and you can go to the imf and world bank etc uh, then other development banks by like bricks etc you can go there also uh, so that is a very good uh, option you can go with that sargun kaur uh, 12th if i want to go to the it sector if you want to go to it sector just do it uh, uh, btech with computer science and it <coughs> sorry and if you know if you are not able to get the btech if you have not uh, prepared till now uh, for je etc 
no problem uh, there is a course called um, bsc computer science in delhi university you can do that course and uh, uh, based on that also you can enter into the corporate world but uh, you go to any university other than iits the curriculum will be old one only that has not changed keeping uh, so fast so like uh, today is in it you have the internet of things data analytics uh, you have the neural network uh, you have the artificial intelligence machine learning etc that you need to learn that you can do it through edx etc so by side by side you can do it uh, uh, um, along with this uh, regular course uh, you are doing it sambhav jain how to practically do a commercial business with your innovations and how to make your innovation commercially ready before patenting uh, sambhav that's a very good uh, question and uh, i also uh, heartening it is heartening to see that uh, students like you want to do something for themselves also and for the future also but che but uh, it require a lot of skill set if you belong to a family uh, business background where your parents are businessman it's a uh, good you can do it but even they are i will suggest you that you should do a graduation in commerce or management and then uh, go in for the mba in entrepreneurship and family business entrepreneurship and family business because you must have some knowledge based on the uh, academics because that will create a sound background for yourself to proceed further and uh, once you have an idea i give an example of one of my student here um uh, there was one of my student aditya he was having uh, an idea of the zip files so what has he done it has made it he has got it medically tested by the sriram labs uh, and once that is ready then he has approached uh, he has made them and sold it to some uh, uh, shopkeepers and then through amazon and then through this flipkart etc and then he approached to some fund managers and the venture capitalist and through that they have and now he has got a good business so likewise that you can have it uh, some of the hell uh, if we want to do bfa with some uh, with some course related to applied arts uh, uh, what we have to do it you have to appear for entrance exam for that bachelor uh, delhi university runs bachelor of fine arts you can go for that um, and this uh, jamia millia also has the same you can do either of the um, from either university and even uh, fashion designing and the fine arts course is there in uh, pune university also in the good one you can go there also which are the both generally designing have more scope in future i have already replied uh, both has got good future but if it uh, you wants to be on tv or uh, some other than journalism otherwise designing because uh, as a journalist you are being paid less now because a lot of students are coming in journalism now so that is why uh jay chavla i have not understood your question because i think while top uh, typing this uh, you have not typed properly uh, commerce without math if i am reading it because you written c then o m etc gap so uh, jay uh, but i will su suggest that you should have maths because if you are uh, ignoring maths then it will be difficult to pursue the commerce become honors and uh, bb etc in some courses so that is why you should go for the commerce uh, with maths maths is not so difficult you sometimes you find difficult i was also feeling when i was a student but not that much i have also i have also passed so you can also pass not an issue so work hard hi sir gupta what all can we do with psychology with humanities stream and can psychology uh, is good to study sociology and psychology together very good combination you can have it uh you can do uh, ba uh, uh, ba honors uh, in psychology and uh, in delhi university there is a, uh, another option is always available as a ge general electives it is called you can take um, sociology as a second one so you can study psychology with sociology that's good option vanshika you can do journalism uh, mass com uh, always you can do it uh, ip university uh, Um, journalism course is there mass comm is there and uh, delhi university has got jamia millia has got it you can do it and uh, even this uh, jamia hamdard is also have got so you can do it uh, there is no problem with that but uh, there are the entrance exams and if you want to fill the form from ip university their advertisement it out fill the form uh, 
which will and bachcho main uh, one thing as a common for all of you try to fill the forms in time and do not make choice within the choice itself for example you are filling up the form for the university that one form you can apply for all the courses but many time what happens that you student just choose one or two the as you are sure that i will get admission in that don't do that pick all what the problem in that nobody is going to question you anything because then the choice lies with you because after say two months you realize no journalism is not good for me for me commerce is good or for me economics is good or i am getting good as admission in good college in the political science you can take that and if you have take you can get admission if you have not take you cannot get the admission there also so that is why then uh, riya uh, which university it should you should delhi university or the jamia jamia milia you can uh, do it because jamia milia is uh, having a old course of journalism and if you want, want to go for the fashion designing you have lived or the pearl fashion academy uh, pearl fashion academy narana in delhi you can do it general for germany you should prefer <coughs> jamia milia islamia and then you can move to uh, gnu and you can go to the delhi university also for that grisha yadav uh, can we study hotel management psychology together no bache either hotel management or psychology you have to do it because hotel management is being offered by the pusa institute of management and then the ymca and the psychology is offered by delhi university so you cannot do the two courses parallel you have to adopt one uh we will ox uh, what are the business opportunities software and gaming designing yeah very good opportunities but you have to learn the coding uh, uh for this and uh, there are a lot of languages for that and you should learn for that um, uh, you can check on the adex.org this is a, a main portal where you can have all these uh, courses online <coughs> because of the Uh, traditional course doesn't have all these things so you you should go for the this also what is the world best uh, tarushi jain is asking what is the best course to pursue among music kala arts and arts uh, sorry tarushi uh, my area is not uh, music um, although i love to listen music but not my area is music nahi hai so you should go for um, some people in this field and they will be replying this better answer because for me um difficult to comment on this and then ananya talreza uh, cds uh, yeah you can go for if it is combined defense service after graduation you can go for the cds you can become an officer in army navy and air force very good very good option to join the army navy air force after this uh, and uh, if uh, i i practically say it is a very good course a uh, very good uh, career choice uh, it not only allow you to serve the nation it also allows you to enjoy your life to fullest because i have been to the air force so i know what kind of life we live in the air force and what kind of life i'm living in uh, this uh, civil <laughs> although being a professor now i am having more leverage to work and get up at my time etc etc but I, i'm sorry to say but i was enjoying more in the air force when as an officer there rather than today here in uh, as a professor so that's a cds is a very good option you can go after bcom uh, bba uh, or bsc do a uh, graduation you are there there is a combined defense exam will be there just take on that exam and uh, entrance exam you qualify you go to the you have to choose the army navy and air force if you get to army you will go to the then put um, permanent and short service commissions you apply it and you can go for um, this uh, you know job in either field and there are their selection centers in, uh, all over this uh, india uh, like uh, army you have got the mysore alabad and bhopal and uh, for this uh, air force you have got the uh, this uh, banaras um, and this mysore uh, dehradun you have got the for the air force so you can move like that uh, then uh, janisha kukreja cannot we do a ca along with bcom honors from open see bachche you should not do bcom open from the open college because with that you do it 
then your degree rate uh, say five years down the line if you have not qualified your ca then you are only bcom and that the bcom is through open medium only so what will happen that you will not get a good job because all the major companies big companies wants a regular degree so first to bcom honors or economics whatever you want to do it do it that and then you can go for ca but sometime after three years you realize that oh ca is not a good uh, thing for me i don't want to do it after this so you can go it clear if i am commerce with maths background it will be easy to clear it. see cds exam doesn't have the commerce based questions it has maths and science based questions and general studies gk etc english so it has nothing to do with your commerce with that but you can, if you you want to go with bcom uh, then you have go to the administrative services like uh, in army navy air force you can apply for uh, not the technical jobs like you cannot uh, go for the flying in air force uh, you you need to go for the logistics and the accounts and adam branches of air force asna suri what can we do after 12th on management bms bba and bbe these are the three courses from delhi university you can do it and the same you can do from ip and jamia what are the suitable career riya said is asking now uh, sir what are the uh, suitable career option for 12th in arts uh arts here i mean art stream you want to ask in art stream if you want to have psychology uh, is a very good option english honors is a very good option economics honors is a very good op option sociology is a very good option see everything has got a very good option provided you want to work hard learn hard so but these uh, have good job opportunity also including cs in arts सीएस आर्ट्स भी नहीं होता बच्चे कंपनी सेक्रेटरी नहीं होता या सो एनीवन एनीवन एल्स एनी क्वेश्चन